What's up, you guys? Uh, I just went and checked my YouTube channel, and it says that I haven't done a video in over a month since the January loot crate, which is just silly. So I wanted to do one. Um, I've had a lot going on with with the house and work. Um, you know, at work we're just wrapping up basketball state tournaments, which is uh, a whole lot of well work. So. I've been busy with all that, but I, I've got a few videos in mind. One, I'm going to do um, kind of showing the way things are set up here. We're not done, but we're getting closer, so that's a big help. And uh, then another one. Some of you guys may have seen what Finn Gamer's doing with his second channel. Um, I was actually uh, thinking about doing some stuff along those lines strictly with video games. And like, uh, you know, he does Tales from the Manual. I had been thinking about doing some of those as well. So we'll probably start doing those um, real soon with one of the uh, the games that's about to be in this video. But uh, since, really since January, when I moved in to the new place uh, in its half-finished state, I haven't done a video with any of what I've picked up or anything like that. And I, I've grabbed quite a few things, whether it's... Uh, Post Christmas stuff, um, you know, we bought a Wii U not, I guess, day before Thanksgiving or Thanksgiving Day or day after or something like that. I don't know, but we bought a Wii U back in November, and uh, the girlfriend's family bought her a ton of uh, different games for the Wii U. You know, nothing that she's probably gonna want to play, but uh, some things I'll want to play. So. So that was cool, and I figure we'll get those out of the way first. Um, FIFA Soccer 13, nah, I don't like soccer, so this one's not a really big deal to me, but uh, it's part of the collection. Um, Deus Ex, Human Revolution, Director's Cut. This one, go away, dog. I haven't even opened this one yet, just haven't got around to it, still got the seal on it. Um, I've got a lot to play, as you'll see, so kind of just going through some things. Um, Assassin's Creed 4 Black Flag. Have played this one. Looks okay. I'm not a big fan of the Assassin's Creed series. Uh, Batman Arkham City Armored Edition. Uh, you know there's some some differences, but at the same time it's still Arkham City and it is fantastic. I think I have three copies of that game now. Um, I did not buy this one. I don't. I seriously doubt the person paid this for it, but. Uh, Call of Duty Ghost with a label that I need to take off. Ninja Gaiden 3, Razor's Edge, which I did buy, and I started playing the other day, and I determined it was... I gave about $8 for this when Kmart or Walmart or somebody put it on sale, and I would say it's worth approximately $8 worth of not-quite-God-of-War kills. You get the idea. Um... Mass Effect 3, a special edition, or edition special, depending on who you ask. I don't know what's special about this edition. I guess it says here. No, it tells you nothing. You can, uh, if you haven't played this version, uh, some of your, uh, um, I don't want to say powers, because that's not the right term, but some of your moves, I, I don't know, some of your effects uh, can be map to the gamepad so that's pretty cool and then uh injustice gods among us i also have uh, smash bros and uh, mario kart 8 for the wii u so a nice little collection of uh, wii u games started up and then also uh, i picked up super mario galaxy for uh the wii because my girlfriend had never played this game what a travesty huh uh, it didn't come with a manual so if anybody out there is looking to get rid of a manual hit me up uh, I loved this game whenever I played it the first time. And if you haven't played it yet, I, I never played the second one. But this first one is just a fantastic addition to uh, to the Mario universe, I guess. Um, it's a lot of fun. I think a lot of people are hoping we'll get a Super Mario Galaxy 3 on the Wii U. I think that would be fantastic. An HD version of this game would be awesome. So uh, that's... Let's see, let's go further back in time in the Nintendo world. Uh, back on the GameCube, I picked up a Star Wars Jedi Outcast for the GameCube. Uh, I got this a while ago, actually. Um, got it at McKay's. 
haven't had a chance to really sit down and, and play it yet. I didn't play it whenever it originally came out. Um, it is the sequel to Jedi Knight, if you didn't know that, I guess. Um, and then one of my favorite games of all time, Resident Evil 4. I originally played this, I was talking about this yesterday. I've played this on the, uh, the PlayStation 2 and the Wii. And both versions I love. I have not played it on this one, and I'm a little bit upset about one feature. And, okay, well, that's obviously not Resident Evil 4 because it's in the GameCube. But, um, yeah, two discs, really? PlayStation 2, put it on one disc. Gosh, get with the times, Nintendo. Uh, let's see, what else do we have? We've got uh, Dreamcast. Picked up Crazy Taxi, another one of those that I missed when I was a kid. Um, on that same trip, I picked up Grand Theft Auto 4 because I bought a copy of Grand Theft Auto 5, and it didn't work. And that sucked. But I don't want to pay new price, and I can't find it as cheap as I would like, so... I bought four. It was cheap. Eh, it's Grand Theft Auto. What are you going to do? This is a game, this is one of the first games I got. When I bought my PlayStation 2, I bought uh, Star Trek Voyager Elite Force and I bought NCAA 2004 for the PS2. Those were the first two games and it came paired with ATV Off-Road Fury 2. I loved this game, but I bought so many games not long after I got my PlayStation 2 that I didn't really play this one much. So I'm trying to play through it now. This game is fantastic. It's uh, a first-person shooter Star Trek game. If you are a nerd, what more could you want? Is there, is there some other? And look, 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 look. You, oh, you can't see it because yeah, those are the Borg. Yeah, you're a team that is set up specifically to fight the Borg. It's it's a win-win situation. This is the opposite of the Kobayashi Maru. This is the perfect situation. Everybody lives and the Klingons all die. Or in this case, the Borg. This is awesome. Star Trek Voyager Elite Force. If you haven't got it, pick it up. Oh my gosh, love that game. Let's see, how about the three... Oh my gosh. Well, <laughs> that ruins one game that I was going to uh, show. I, I picked up a Link Between Worlds, but it literally just fell down beside the bed and I'm not going to look for it. So uh, it'll be down there for a few minutes. Um, I picked up Batman Arkham Origins, Disc 2, in case you're wondering. It is not a two-disc game. Uh, disc 2 is if you need it in other languages. Who knew? Um, this game is, is really good. I've gotten totally wrapped up in the story. I'm about a third of the way through, and I've loved every second of it. Um, in fact, I said I think I have three copies of Arkham City, like the original, the... Uh, Game of the Year edition, and then the Wii U edition. Um, I only have one copy of Arkham Origins because I just bought it, but it's already convinced me that I'm going to have to pre-order Arkham Knight. Um, I've just got to. Got to have it. I, and right now I'm trying to decide between the special edition that is with the Batman statue and the special edition that has the uh, Batmobile. There's a $100 difference. Look it up. Tell me which one you get. All right, so Arkham Origins, pick that up. Also, Clive Barker's Jericho. I This was one of the first games that I bought on my PlayStation 3, so you see the theme here. Again, love this game. I thought it did a great job of showing what the PlayStation 3 could do, and it had some interesting concepts with all the powers you could use and the way that you could jump between the characters to access different powers. Um, and the traveling back through time thing was kind of neat. I remember the boss fight with... Uh, is it Nero? No, that's not right. I can't remember. Caligula. Yeah, the boss fight with Caligula is really, really neat. So uh, check this one out. It's on uh, PS3 or 360. And then Final Fantasy 13. What a crap storm. I have not enjoyed one second of this, and I barely played it, but I don't think I'm going to continue. Uh, Platinum hits bestseller awarded whatever. Crap on that. So picked up some 360 games. Um, more recently, yesterday snagged uh, Mega Man 8 for the PlayStation. I always said I was not going to collect PlayStation 1 games, but I have. And then this is kind of the, the biggest pickup that I've made in a long time. This is Castlevania Symphony of the Night. Yes, it's a Greatest Hits edition. Whatever. This game's awesome. And I gotta, now that I've got this down here, I've got to tell the story of how I got this game. I've been looking for Symphony of the Night um, Castlevania, well, Super Castlevania 4, whatever you want to call it, 
uh, for the Super Nintendo. Um, Castlevania Bloodlines, really any of those. Uh, I have Simon's Quest. I don't have uh, the first or the second. So, you know, there were a few games that I was looking for. Obviously nothing to do with the Nintendo 64. But uh, Symphony of the Night was high up there on the list. And I was in a town about an hour and 20 minutes away. And they have several retro stores. And I found a copy of this for $50. And I was like, no. I can't do that. They also had Super Castlevania Ford, just the cart for $50, and they had Bloodlines for $50. And I was like, no, no, and no. Just because I wasn't going to drop that amount of money, um, I felt like I could find it better. So we went to another store after lunch, and we found this copy, and it was markedly cheaper. But I went through a whole process of, no, I'm, not, I'm still not going to buy it. No, 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 no. Well, eventually, I bought the game. I came home, and I, uh, I don't have a PlayStation 1. I have my PlayStation 2. I put it in there, and... I've literally, because I have no dealings with original PlayStation games, was had no idea that you couldn't uh, put a PS1 game on a PS2 memory card. So then, yesterday, I had to go out and find a PS1 memory card, only to come home and have my uh, DualShock controller quit working. So it dawned on me today that you can play these games on your PS3, and save it on the virtual memory card, which is what I've been doing, but it has been quite the ordeal. Nevertheless, what a game. And this game is actually going to be the first game that I do one of those um, uh, manual readings. I, I can't wait to do that. Uh, this has a great manual for that. So, um, yeah, I, I highly recommend this game. And literally everything I bought over here, with the exception of Probably Ninja Gaiden 3, FIFA Soccer, and Final Fantasy 58, or whatever that was. The rest of them, definitely pick these games up. Uh, I'm going to go play Symphony, Symphony of the Night. I'll have more video game um, videos for you guys coming up soon. I, I feel pretty confident in that statement. So uh, thank you guys for being patient, and thanks for watching. Uh, like, subscribe, and comment below, down there somewhere. And we'll see you guys next time.